On a nice summer day, playgrounds are a great place to take the kids, but you don't have to stick to your own neighborhood. There are some really unique playgrounds around the area worth the trip. Christine Sorensen has a lot of fun checking them out in today's Kidsburg Report. The worn off blue paint is an indication of just how popular Blue Slide Park is. This iconic playground in Frick Park in Squirrel Hill has drawn families for generations. You ready? Yeah. Everyone loves going down the concrete slide that's built into the hill. Denise Fawcett brought her grandkids to show them how much fun she had here as a kid when the slide was green. So many things go away, this is still here. The only thing that changed is the color. Yes, the color changed and more playground equipment. There's now playground equipment for kids of all ages, plus places to hike, play ball, run, even unicycle. People around the country now know Blue Slide Park because it was the title of rapper Mac Miller's album. In fact, it debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. Miller went to high school just a couple blocks away at Alderdice. Every time when uh, we go down a slide, you can go down like any type of way. I like that it goes fast with the crates. There's crates and there's boxes. Insider tip, bring a cardboard box for sliding in case there aren't any extras around. Not far away is Anderson Playground in Oakland, part of Shenley Park. It's also known as Dinosaur Playground, or as nine-year-old Rami Saad likes to call it, King Park. And I like the colors. Whether it's the castle that encourages imaginative play or the dinosaur legs for sliding, this playground is surrounded by beautiful trees and creative ways to engage with your child. I like to slide down. Across the river in Aspenwall, a robot like creature welcomes children to peer inside his huge head, play in his outstretched hands, and climb and slide on his long legs. I'm the winner. Three year old Noah Corbin and his big sister Lana love coming to Aspenwall Riverfront Park. This park with the guy. That big guy was designed by installation artist Tom Otterness. Six years ago, this whole area was about to be converted into a commercial parking lot, but instead, 3,000 people decided they wanted to make it a park and an area where you could rent kayaks. They raised $2 million in about six months. 14,000 of that came from kids. Now, there's also a biking and walking trail and a place to sit, relax, and take in the views. I like the fact that it's clean. It's it, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of people that uh, that are crowded, and then also it's just a it's a pretty piece of artwork. Let's go. I think she had a lot of fun doing that Kidsburg report this time. Christine says there are 11 playgrounds on Kidsburg's full list. Others include Kids Castle Playground in Cranberry, Dormont Park's Wooden Playground, and O'Block Playground in Plum, which is all about accessibility for kids of all abilities. For the full list, you can go to kidsburg.org.